set or get a free stamp set, I guess I should say. So, okay, good. There's lots of you joining tonight. So, yay, Christina and Becky and who else did I see? Cheryl and so, yay. Um, you can see my decorations back there. I'll give you just a little, I have a fun little heart shirt on for Valentine's Day. So, okay, that was a good shot. All right, so let's flip the camera down and go ahead and get started. So hang on for a minute, close your eyes. Let's get your face down here, whoops. All right, two minutes, two seconds. Okay, and up we come again, so close your eyes. Okay, let's get that up out of the way. Okay, let's get this straight, let's get this straight. Okay, are we in? Okay, I think we're good. Nancy's with us tonight, yay Nancy, I'm so glad. Okay, so this time I've been doing where I don't show you what we're gonna make ahead of time, and this time I am going to. This is the stamp set that I'm using. It's called Calming Camellia. It is a Hostess exclusive stamp set. The only way that you can get this stamp set is with a $300 party order, gathering from others. Um, it is one of the free items that as you get as the Hostess, okay? So this is what we're using. We're gonna use focusing on this and the happy birthday, okay? So I'm gonna set that off to the side. And I'm looking to see if there's anything else at the moment I want to share. Okay. And so here's the card we're going to do. This is the whitewash technique. Okay. Isn't that fun? And then we have to remember the inside. However, I did this because it's leaves in soft succulent. And I'm going to change it on the card that we're doing now. And I'm going to do it with the Blackberry Bliss. And then, of course, we want to decorate our envelope also. Okay. So to do this, we are starting with a piece of rich razzleberry that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we're going to pull in this great big stamp out of the calming camellia and blackberry bliss ink. Okay. And so happy Galentine's Day to you too, Helen. Okay, so we're going to ink it all up good, and then I'm going to start by stamping it up in the corner, the left corner, with the stem kind of in the center, okay? And we're going to make sure that we press it down good. It's one of Annie's all-time favorites. It's Roseanne's all-time favorite color. I haven't used it in a while. Okay, and then we're going to ink it up again. And we're going to stamp it down in the bottom corner. The center, the stem will overlap, but that's okay because most of that center section will get covered up with our greeting. Okay, just making sure it's all stamped good. Beautiful. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a clear block and the... Whisper White Craft Ink, okay? This is ooh, super thick ink that's kind of sort of like a paint. It takes a little bit to dry compared to the regular inks. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this clear block. I don't wanna pull color off from the stamp pad because it will start to turn colors. So I'm just gonna squish my clear block onto it to pull some ink up onto it. And then I'm gonna close this so I don't get anything else in it. And then we're gonna pull in a blender pen. When's the last time I used one of these, right? Okay, and then, now I'm gonna kinda of have to sit, I think, to do this. So hopefully you can still hear me also. Okay, so we are going to just pick up some color and then we are just going to color our flowers. And we're just going to kind of drag and pull that in. And then we're just going to continue on to the next little leaf. 
Now it starts out a little darker than what you're maybe wanting, but then it blends right down into the cardstock. So as you can see already, some of the areas start to lighten up a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna go a little heavier down here. And so you're going to end up watching me do some coloring, but you'll be able to see how this works. See how bright it is as it outlines right there. And then it starts fading in. But look how different the cardstock looks from the rich Razzleberry. As that white just kind of highlights those flowers. And if you want it highlighted a little bit more as it's drying, go back over it again. And you'll get a darker color. Oh, I saw some hearts going by. Thank you for the love. I really appreciate it. Okay, so type in some comments. What do you guys, have you done today? Did you have special dinners? Did you make special dinners? Um, Valentine's Day, and I love, some of the girls at work were like, it's just a holiday. It's a Hallmark holiday. That may be true. However, um, it's, also a good day, a good reminder to tell those that you love how much you love them. The friends, as Helen said, happy Galentine's. Um, us ladies, I think, like it a little more than the guys do, but some of the guys are awesome too. Um, about remembering and saying a little extra love on a day like this. Okay. Um, Nancy said she saw somebody do this last week. There were a couple of demonstrators, and I don't know for sure which stamp set that they used. Um, uh, Mary Dethridge, I just saw a video by her. She might have used this one. And then Lisa Freeman just did this technique also. It's been, the whitewash has been around for quite a while. Um, but it's one, you know, you kind of pull some of those techniques back out again. Those of you who were with me back in the day when I did Technique Club, and we put it all in a little book, um, you can pull that back out and kind of go back through some of those techniques again to remind yourself of some of the things that we did. See, and I started to get a little worried about those lines as they showed, but they blend right down in again. All right, this one's a little flower. If it gets a little muddled and hard to tell what's a leaf and what's a flower, if you just bring your stamp set back in, you can see a little clearer on here which ones are flowers and which ones are leaves. Again, it's yours, so however you do it, it's gonna be awesome. Oh, Sue's been working on her swaps for our Stampin' Sisters retreat. We are under three weeks away from that now. Those of you that didn't get to sign up for Stampin' Sisters retreat and miss out on that fun, you'll definitely wanna join us next year. But for now, I am doing a cabin fever, so it's kind of a one-day mini retreat on Saturday, March 26th. So it's from 9 o'clock until 3.30 or 4 o'clock, and there's a couple of make-and-take um, projects, which are full card projects. You'll make between 10 and 12 card-type things and a special project, and then I have additional add-on classes that you can do along with it. So that'll be a fun day stamping together also. Okay, never seen. Okay, good. Becky, I'm glad you're seeing something new. March, uh, made 22 March books. What's a March book, Sue? So I, I love when I can share something that you haven't seen before. Um, obviously, I didn't invent this. This isn't new. It just kind of got reminded when I saw it last night as I was kind of looking through for some different things to do. And I thought, oh, let's do this. And this calming camellia stamp set is so beautiful, especially for this technique. Flowing flowers would be another one that would be really pretty. I know there's, I didn't go back and look at the name to see, but I know there's one in the annual catalog too that is this distinctive stamping. Um, <clears throat> that had that you would be able to do the same type of technique. Okay, so that first one is all colored. So now we're just going to flip it over and I'm going to color the other side. Okay, so far fingers crossed the internet is working tonight. I actually turned my phone off 
this time and rebooted everything so that everything would be fresh on my phone tonight before I started to see if maybe that was the issue. I did find that you like stroke lines a little better on this technique than circular motions. Um, that kind of muddied it a little bit in my opinion. So just straight strokes kind of gives you a little bit better blend as it sucks down into the cardstock. Oh, matchbooks, okay. Like the M&M type ones, that's a lot, 22, that's awesome. That was my original intention was to make a bunch for work, but I didn't get that done. Retreat is kind of absorbing my extra time other than prepping for classes and lives and paper pumpkin shipped. So I'll be getting those alternate kits together. Um, probably, well, I don't know for sure when it's coming. I know it shipped on Friday, so it should be here like the end of the week. So hopefully we can get that going in the DSP class. And... Okay, we're three quarters of the way done. Hang in there with me. I know this is boring part to watch, but it's kind of fun to see how it transforms from kind of that dark color on there to a little chalk look. All right, we're almost there. Tried to watch to see what kind of things you guys did today. Roseanne, I agree. It's one, it, it kind of makes it look richer and more elegant. Kind of like an artist, which I am the furthest thing from. But this is one of those techniques that makes it look like you're really a fabulous artist. The extra classes for Cabin Fever, yes, they are different than what Cabin Fever will be, and they are not the same classes that we're doing at retreat. This is all different type stuff. So the basic make and takes for Cabin Fever, everybody who signs up will be making those two project sets and the special project. And then the additional classes are just additional things that you can make while you're there, or you can take them home as a kit to go to finish at home when you have more time. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about, one of the projects, and I'm gonna have to try to do like a sample so that you see is a loaded envelope. This is really, really cool. It's kind of like a little gift bag. Um, so it's a great Mother's Day type gift. Um, definitely birthday present things. Okay, so we are all colored. Now with my blender pen, I'm just rubbing off the rest of the white ink that's on there. Let's get this, okay, and clean it off quick before it gets all over everything. So I just have a piece of paper towel, and first I'm going to wipe that off. And it gets kind of gross, so once I got most of the ink off that way, hand sanitizer is not only good for your hands, it's also fabulous for cleaning ink and goo off from your stamps and things. Okay, so just a little bit of hand sanitizer and it cleans my block right off. Isn't that awesome? All right, so now, okay, so now we're gonna build our card. Look at how pretty that is. Now, again, because it's craft ink, it does take a little bit to dry, but you're not using a lot. It's not real heavy, so it's not too bad, and we're able to work with it, okay? So I have a piece of thick basic white, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, our normal base. Okay, then I have a piece of Blackberry Bliss that is four by five and a quarter, 
and we're just going to put some adhesive on that and center that onto our basic white card base. And then we're going to put our rich razzleberry right on top of that. And again, it's only an eighth of an inch smaller, so it gives us just a small little border. But that darkness underneath just kind of makes it all pop a little bit more. Okay, then scoot that to the side. I have a piece of basic white that is three quarters by three and seven eighths. And so we're going to pull that Blackberry Bliss back in. And we are stamping Happy Birthday, which again is from the Calming Camellia stamp set. And we're just going to stamp that in the center, or about in the center. Okay. And then, let's see, we're going to adhere that onto a piece of Blackberry Bliss that is 7 eighths of an inch by 4 inches. And then we're gonna attach it to our card front with dimensionals. Oh good, Sue, you're gonna sign up, yay. Bring some friends down with you too. Okay, so there's our center with the flower, or with the stems, and this is gonna go right across it so you can't even see it. And I wanna take that up just a little bit. Okay, and now I didn't like this little white extra. Oh, and before I did that, I should have shown you too. I also didn't like this part just being plain, but I didn't want to put it back through the embossing folder with the white that's already painted on there. So I pulled in a second stamp set, Lucky You, and I used, let's see, these two little dots. And so I used the Blackberry Bliss, and I just... Not completely filled, but just added some random splots because the edges around here, you kind of get that same look. And so I just kind of filled in here and there. That wasn't quite enough, so then I used just the little dots to pop in a few more. Try to get in there. Actually, that's pretty good. That just filled in that space a little bit better, which I like. Okay, and can you see that? Well, it's dark in the picture. Let's bring it up a little closer. Okay, so then you can see those splotches just kind of fill in that area. All right, and then I didn't like this white area, so I pulled in my pearls. And the dark Blackberry Bliss marker or Stampin' Blend. And then we're going to scoot those so that we can color them. And again, they're, when you color it on the pearls, it's not the same color as when you're coloring just on cardstock. But you still get it. All right. And then we're just gonna put that on each side. Come on. I didn't bring my pick tool again. Okay, so there's our card, but let's do the inside. And so again, I am gonna do this leafy, but I'm gonna pull the Blackberry Bliss in again. And maybe I will stamp off so that it's not quite so dark. How's that? And we're just gonna put it over here in the corner. There, I do like that a lot better than the green one. It's got a little green in it yet there too. But then let's make the recipient feel very special. And let's stamp this big flower again down here in the corner. Yay, you guys are liking this one. Okay, look at how pretty that is when it's on white. I mean, that is just gorgeous. All right, now let's close this 
So again, let's pull the stamp set in. The greetings in this one. You're in my thoughts today. Lovely you. Happy birthday. You make me smile. It's the little things that make life great. And I love being your friend. I mean, those are all fabulous sayings and greetings to put in your cards, on your cards. Um, write your little note on the inside. I mean, that is just so pretty, right? Okay, so one lucky person I will pull out of the comments tonight and the shares, and I will mail this card to you. Um, with the black, the leaves looked, yes. The green with the blackberry for the leaves looked really nice. You like that one better, Cheryl? Okay, so there we have the green inside. We have the uh, blackberry bliss inside. But you could even take on here and you could color it in with your markers instead to be able to get some green there too. But okay, so I will mail this card to one lucky person. And what I will do is I will put this in just like this with no note or anything on it so that you then have the card to be able to mail to someone, okay? And then my little special deal, here's the host code we have going yet, okay? And any orders, $35 or higher, placed between now and Friday night, I will do a drawing for this stamp set. And I will mail this to one lucky person. <laughs> Linda says, pick me, pick me. Okay, so again, any orders placed tonight through Friday night. Then Saturday, I will draw a name and post and email that person. And I will mail out. I have an extra one of these right over here, I believe. Yes, there it is. That's a brand new one, not used at all. Okay, and I will mail this out to one lucky person. So, again, remind everybody on YouTube, if you subscribe, you will get reminders when I post. I will post this on YouTube. I will also have it, it'll post up on Facebook later so that those who couldn't watch us live can watch it later. But